Hi everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how you can CRUD operations run in Ajax. So everything we have done and uh, hope so you can see my screen properly, right? So here uh, you can check, let me show you something, how you can add or update or delete, right? This functionality we have done and as well as also you can search also, right? So we are also using the data tables here and uh, let me uh, first of all, write this some things uh top 10 news okay so here also i just putting the all the other details whatever right author like my name i am going to put here Siddhar, right so here you can check the ad is working fine same for writer anything top five news i'm going to put here tick okay the same things let me remove this one and here again so details so look this is working properly right and just click on this details and let me remove this one look this is working right and click on the delete are you sure you want to delete yes we want to delete right so this is done and look search also magic right so this is working properly and uh, how we have done this functionality so first of all uh, let me uh, introduce something uh, i have already created everything which is related to i'm already working on this there well new right so you can search my uh, channel name which is a real programmer right so do not forget to subscribe first of all this just subscribe this channel also i have noted the multiple uh, list wish list some things whatever is uh, suitable for you you can uh, check out my videos like a laravel 7 laravel 6 laravel 8 laravel 9 right so most of the things already i covered and uh, the you can check here laravel 8 and laravel 8 in hindi also i have created so most of the things i already covered right so what i am done and you also have created a blog so you can search from the my website right l h x so this is working which is the, the real programmer i will give in the description area link also so what are the steps you need to follow right so first of all you need to install the laravel 9 and uh, if you don't know how to install laravel 9 i have created separate video for the installations process right so first of all you need to focus on the your system have present uh, php 8 version or not if you using the pss version uh, like php 7 or php 6 something so this will automatically install the laravel previous version like laravel 8 or laravel 7 laravel 6 right so first of all you need to focus on the if you having the latest version of the php then you need to run first of all this command so here like we need to run composer also composer also required right so if you don't know how to install composer you can check out my previous video right so so how you can check the composer we need to install then here you need to put your project name right so last one is a project name so for after then when you successfully install you need to also create a database okay so once you created the database you need to configure from the dot env file here we have already done right so look we have a db connections like a you need to put the username and password and database name right so this way you need to complete first of all then once you successfully done this what you need to do uh, you need to check Check your database connections properly working or not right so once every everything is fine from the database connections so what you need to do you need to create uh, run this command for the installations the data we are using the data table right here data table so you need to run this command for the installation pro install this package which is a, a laravel data table right so we need to run this command after this running successfully command you need to add two lines of code which is a for a provider second for the alias so how you can add you need to go inside your uh, sorry your config and app.php so aliases I, I already added here right so this way you need to add right same for the providers also i added here let me show you this line see so you need to add these lines of code right so once you successfully add this you need to configure uh, we have already done the configurations right so the add uh, how to open the basically this is not very you can open your uh, like a uh, like uh, any editor if you're using like if you use vs coding you are using then you need to run this command right inside of the first of all you need to go your inside of the project folder then you need to run this command right so leave it and here you have done database connection then what you need to do you need to run the migrations command first of all right so once you added this migrations command uh, so what we're doing here we are creating a table especially uh, for the books name with uh, table we are creating the books name right so inside of the books walls let me show you 
where you get the details you need to go inside of the database and migrations and last one we have the books right you can check the migrations file how look looks like right create books table right so we have this table and what you need to do you need to add these lines of code first of all this is by default present but we need to add whatever we want to add something in column right so we want here the title and second with the author so you can put the author details here like a title and descriptions whatever fields is required for you you can put there right so i just put it the title and author name so once you successfully run this then you need to run the migrate command right so we created the migration then we need to create a migrate command which is here you can run this and also if you want to create a controller something you can run this command uh, right so we using right now the command most of the things right so i have added here which is a php artisans make colon controller and controller name controller name is books controller right and resources why i added this lines of code because so if i added the resource it will automatically con uh, add like an index and other methods also like a show delete this kind of method automatically append in the our controller let me show my controller right so if you go the app http and controller inside the control controllers we have books controller right so let me ever one so we need to add this line which uh, why we using this one because of model we have inside the app models and book for book file right so we have book.php file so that's why i put it there right and uh, just scroll down we have an index method inside the index method we fetching all latest details which coming from the database suppose we added the uh, n numbers of books inside the database we will fetch using this technique right we can fetch the data like this one using this technique so suppose if any ajax request are coming in this method then we are fetching all details latest detail uh, from the book table right so also we are re returning inside of the data table we need to use this kind of things right uh, index of and also we adding here this one for adding new details right and uh, we have edit books class and uh, second we have delete right so we need to add this lines of code and also we adding this id okay we getting this this id so if we pass this id then we will call directly update or uh, sorry edit and uh, delete method right so let me scroll down then what we're doing here we have a actions column so you need to add like this and also if you're returning something right in the compact view we are using using because we're passing all details we have a book books names where books right we have a books name uh, variable so that why we put we put it there and we're returning all details to this right and if you have a request then we are returning this kind of details right? look we are returning this one right if we have ajax request otherwise we are returning directly view and the second we have uh, like a store if someone adding for the details then uh, we are if we have id then we will update otherwise we will create right so using this store method we can update or create something if you having id then what we will do we uh, we will update right like a title we have an author the request method we have the title and author same for the id we have then we will compare and we will update this same for edit we have if we have id then what we're doing here we finding and we updating right we adding uh, sorry we finding then we are uh, responding if we have then we are returning the json permit and uh, same for the destroy also be doing same things if we have successfully then we'll uh, we will uh, sorry we'll delete from the database so let me go resources and we have file which is a book dot blade dot php right so inside there you can check we have added a uh, bootstrap and js uh, jquery things and data data tables right and just scroll down and uh, here we have form right this is important things we need to focus on we, what we're doing here if this id we're clicking what we're doing here we're getting all form details right we have the input form here and we adding like id in the uh, book uh, uh, book underscore id and uh, the name we have and id also we have right and also we have the title and uh, second we have the details uh, which you can consider for the author something right and uh, here uh, just scroll down and we have button right and just scroll down again and what we're doing we're adding this request which is ajax basically right and uh, one second just scroll down because we using the data table so that's why we adding this lines of code we have we have request which is a uh, uh, sorry ajax by default we're fetching all details here okay and we're returning inside of the data we have a uh, 
title same for we have name of the title and here also we have the data author so this field we have right and uh, we getting this detail from the controller only right we because we returning uh, if we hitting this request automatically we fetching all details from the controller we printing here right and just scroll down here and what we have here uh, you can check we have the new controller if we are adding this button uh, this id uh, then we say buttons we cre creating and we validating and we getting this id right and uh, we reset also if anyone needing book once we have triggering the reset buttons so we have implemented this kind of things right same for the uh, this for the create new one this for the edit right we're getting this details and, and we fetching all details and we adding this uh, value inside of the book id title same for the author right we're doing this activity right here same for the save button also we have and we what we're doing here we passing the from the using the post method we uh, trigger the uh, if someone adding that this triggered reset something then we removing all form details from the form right and uh, same for errors also we doing here and uh, here we have delete same things for also we uh, adding for the ajax for the delete we have id and we fetching and we deleting from the database right so we have the different kind of things so like uh, we adding from this url right and uh, so most of the things we have covered and also i'm going to say the most important things you can check out for uh, check out from the blog also you will get all details right if you want to make a separate video for this step by step right uh, from the runtime let me know in comment box definitely i will create a separate video right and also if you're looking a good domain hosting plan to uh, set up your uh, server right so you can check out for the domain register and you can click on the web hosting and here you can get more more different different of plans right are the basic professional and silver and advanced you can check out there right and uh, whatever plan suitable for you you can select because the i am using these services from the long time and uh, so this is a personal experience that why i'm that's why i'm sharing with you and uh, so you can get the ssd space uh, free SSL certificate, free SEO tools, right, and cloud is also 24 into 7 support. So th this is the main reason I'm uh, suggesting you. If you want uh, domain and hosting, you can buy from the domain version, right? And uh, also, do not forget to subscribe my channel. If if you need any other help, let me know. Definitely, I will create a separate video. Thank you for watching this video.